Yo, what's going on, guys, and welcome oh, back no. to another oh, EASHL tips video. Like where today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get good plays out of the neutral zone and good break ins, as these are big parts of the NHL games is being able to break into the zone and effectively get good chances and set up in the zone while um, being able to break in because if you can't break into that zone you're gonna have a tough time scoring but if you can get into that zone you're able to set up wear out the team until they screw up and you can score off those chances nervous hating when I lose sight life gets blurry and things might hurt me it's probably gonna be a long journey but I my first tip on how to get better break-ins is notice tendencies if you can notice the tendencies of your team and the other team then you are able to break into the zone a lot easier just like um, being able to like know where your teammates are all right this is a perfect time to know where they're at if you know where you're gonna be on a break-in and where the other team is gonna be on a break-in you can easily find the weaknesses on their team and find the strengths on your team to be able to break into the zone easier in this clip here you will see watch how soft this team plays on the blue line as we notice that tendency we know we can walk into the zone and we set up and we're able to get a chance off. And it allows us to be able to wear down their defense until they make a mistake and leave one of our guys wide open. But of course here we did take a simple shot and it ended the play. I will say if a team is playing a lot um, closer to you, a lot more man on man, you can easily use a drop pass which will work because if a player is on man on man, tight man on man, especially, you will be able to get into the zone very f freely and able to open up a lot of space for your defenseman who accepts the drop pass at the point. So our next part here is quick passes. Make sure when you're in that neutral zone, quick passes are perfect because you can move it from strong to weak side super easily. And the team won't have enough time to recover. And especially if you have a fast guy, he'll be able to cut into the zone. And especially in this clip right here where everybody goes to the left, we're able to get a quick pass up and across to the weak side. No one's there. And we take a quick shot to send it to overtime. Actually, no, we actually won that game. It was 3-2 when we scored that goal with under 10 seconds left. Now, I actually don't have any clips of us doing this, but I found a few clips of Selly Center, and I just wanted to show it to you, is the utilization of a drop pass. These drop passes can be very nice to use because it opens up so much space, especially against teams who just back up to their net, uh, and also teams who play man-on-man, -man because if a team is right on you and you drop pass it, they're going to stay on you while th your... D-man will pick up the puck, and he has free space, walk into the high slot, and take a shot. It's super easy to get shots off of these drop passes at the point. If you drop them right after you get past the blue line, D-man pick it up, and he's got a lot of space. And, of course, a lot of teams aren't going to expect it, so very good move. My next tip is... Everybody take a lane when cutting into the zone, all right? When you're coming into the zone, you want to make sure that you have every single part of the ice taken. Have one guy on the left boards, one guy on the right boards, one guy down the middle. And, of course, that's not always going to work. So make sure you, you know your, you and your teammates are intercrossing and make sure that you're being creative. If you're not going to do anything creatively and just go in with a lot of space, all right? You're going to have a lot of space, but it's going to be very stagnant and nothing's really going to go on. So you want to make sure that you're always moving and if it, but make sure that you're always taking up every spot of the ice with three guys 
in threes. Now, in, in sixes, it's a little different. You know, maybe your three forwards keep all the ice, and, of course, your D-men are going to stay back. But, yeah, and also, make sure that your D-man is a little bit farther back. Even if he is taking up one of the lanes, make sure he's a little further back so he doesn't get beat if it's a turnover in the neutral zone. I will say, this is fine, too, in this picture right here, where the D-man is staying kind of on the boards with the forward because if you're kind of coming into the zone and he's going to cut down low you're going to have that support up high and you're it's easier to be able to set up that way this right here on the other hand that's not good all right you kind of have all three guys on one side and of course we're dumping it down in and we have no one on this right side to be able to grab it i'm kind of on this side i'm the d-man Teal in this clip, I am not in the middle really, I'm more to the left, our guy's on the left boards, and we have another guy who's kind of near that left dot, more middle area, it's not going to work. My last tip here is be creative, alright? Do different things, figure out new things to do, maybe uh, come straight across the the line and just shoot it against a human goalie maybe they're not ready for the shot or or maybe like do something a little different where you're not your opponents aren't expecting all right it's all about being creative and in getting into the zone maybe uh, do a drop pass in, in the neutral zone that ends up being a great play because normally you're going to do it when in the zone the drop pass but sometimes you can get stuff to work and it's because it's throwing them like in a loop they're not going to be ready for things it, it you know switching around and stuff like that that's that's being creative because you're not allowing the defense to know what you're doing switch it up take shots like that where you're coming into the zone catch a goalie off guard there's so many things you can do. Just be creative and do what you think will work. And that right there is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope these tips work out for you. Like and subscribe. And see you guys on the next one.